the end results of the barbecue brisket. We had this leftovers. So I want to show you. You can use this and make sandwiches with. We ate the slice and then get a chance to let you see what the slice look. But I want you to see how the, the slice look that you can make sandwiches out of this brisket. It turned out real good and tender and I want you to know it is very fantastic. I want to thank you for coming to my channel. This is Sandra and happy eating. Hi, this is Sandra. I'm here again with another recipe and this recipe is my famous brisket. I'm seasoning my famous brisket with some good old crushed, crushed black pepper. This is a crushed black pepper I'm using. I'm using regular black pepper and I'm using some sea salt or you can use coarse salt. But This is sea salt and it's coarse and I use that and then I'm putting it with this uh, steakhouse season. This takes steakhouse season is so delicious, y'all. I'm topping it with this a lot, you know, because I love this flavor and spices that they have in it. Now, what I did, I uh, what you call covered my brisket with this old style honey barbecue. I mean, honey mustard. I love the honey mustard more than I do the um, regular American mustard. Okay, what I'm gonna do now? I got this coated real good. So what I'm going to do is put garlic. I love garlic on it. A lot of garlic on top of my brisket. And I spread it all over just like that. This is a great, great, great tasting brisket, y'all. I know a lot of uh, people have briskets on the internet, on YouTube, but you don't have the recipe to mine. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. So on the back of this, on the skin side, I also did black pepper and salt, coarse black pepper and the coarse uh, sea salt on the back also on the skin side. So what I'm gonna do now is add some more of this on top of this, on top of the garlic. More of this stay season on top of the garlic, just like that. Okay, what we're gonna do now is put this in the refrigerator and let it marinate overnight. Maybe like 24 hours overnight and let it marinate and then we can put it on the grill. Okay, this is Sandra. I want to show you how to do my famous tender, delicious brisket. Okay, remember to always use, when you want to coat it, coat it with the honey mustard. Or you can use regular American mustard if you want to. And then get some kosher salt, some salt that is coarse. And I get the sea salt. And then I get the crushed brown, crushed black pepper. And then I use this steak season. I got this steak season at the dollar store, 99 cent store, and it is really delicious. I went to look for some more, and it's all gone. There's about five of them. But anyway, this is what I'm going to do right now and let this sit and marinate overnight. Now, my folks used to get a brisket and let it sit over a day so it can have an have a older taste. I don't know what that does to it, but it gives us a more deeper flavor. So that's what I did with this one. So we're going to let this sit in the uh, cupboard and the refrigerator for over 24 hours and let this marinate into the meat and then we're going to put it on the grill. All right, we got this out in the grill and it's smoking. Look how it's smoking. I got it clamped down right here that you clamp it down and make sure the smoke stays in there and then it smoke. This right here is closed so the smoke will stay inside. I got the pan inside i'm gonna show you how it look i'm clamp it so i can show you i have the pan inside just like that because the smoke is going to cook in this uh pan the pan is going to cook with this smoke here this smoke right here will penetrate through all of that and smoke this meat and i got the hickory hickory wood all up in here. I got the hickory wood all in there. And that's what's going to smoke and cook that meat for about at least 24 hours, y'all. Yeah, at least 24 hours on this grill. You know, smoke cooks the meat, but you have to check it. But you're going to make sure that it's uh, not burning. But the smoke will just penetrate with those uh, hickory chips. I get the hickory chips like this. These hickory chips right here. I get the hickory chips from Kroger's. And those hickory chips uh, really work. This not the hickory chips. The hickory chip bag is inside the house. 
well either way. You get the hickory chips. Make sure you get the hickory chips. And then we're going to put this back on like this. We're going to shed it back down. And we're going to clip it up in the clip. And make sure that it stays like that. There you go. We'll be back and let you see how it look on the next video. But this is what this is. It's smoking. Doing just great. And I'm going to say at least about 8 hours or 16 hours in the smoke should make it more efficient to eat a little tender. This is Sandra. I'll be right back. Alright, this is what you're supposed to look like. It's supposed to look like this. It's uh, smoking. And uh, it been on maybe about an hour and a half. And you got at least 15 more hours, maybe 10 more hours. So it's just showing what, I'm just showing you what it's doing. So be patient. You've got a long time for a brisket to be real tender and moist. Look at the smoke. Smoke smells fantastic. I put my brisket in a pan because I like for it to have some kind of shelter over it instead of just having the raw, the meat on top of the, the little grates there. Okay, this is Sandra. Keep you in touch with this wonderful, wonderful brisket.